Have a holly jolly Christmas It's the best time of the year Now I don't know if there'll be snow But have a cup of cheer Have a holly jolly Welcome back to You and Your Emotions. I'm Dr. Marsha Fieldstone, broadcasting live across America from the top of the Sears Tower in Chicago. Tonight, we're talking about wishes and dreams. What's your wish this Christmas Eve? Maybe the best present you can give yourself is a call to me. The number is... <laughs> What's your wish to change the station? The subject of the evening's medical update is you and your spleen and your hostess. Oh, not on your life. Coming up, Jingle Bell's back with somebody the New Jersey Cape Mayettes. Seattle, go ahead. Hello, this is Jonah. No last name's Jonah. You sound younger than our usual callers. How old are you? I'm eight. How come you're up so late? It's not that late in Seattle. All right. What's your Christmas wish, Jonah? It's not for me. It's for my dad. I think he needs a new wife. You don't like the one he has now? He doesn't have one now. That's the problem. Where's your mom? She died. I'm so sorry to hear that, Jonah. Oh, well, who could believe this? I've been pretty sad, but I think my dad is worse. Have you talked to your dad about this? No. Why not? It's like it makes him sadder. Well, I can understand that, Jonah. Is your dad home right now? Yeah. What is he doing? Is he busy? Not really. He's out on the deck. Well, I'm sure I can help, but I'm going to need you to help me to help him. A wretched woman. No way. He'd kill me. Don't listen to her, Jonah. Hang up. Trust me, Jonah, he won't be angry when he realizes how concerned you are about him. Wanna bet? Okay, but if I get yelled at, I'm never gonna listen to your show again. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Dad! Yeah? There's somebody on the phone for you. His name is Sam. If you just tuned in, this is Dr. Marsha Fieldstone, and tonight's topic is your wishes and dreams. And we're on the line now with someone from Seattle. Hello, Sam? Hello. This is Dr. Marsha Fieldstone on Network America. Okay, what are we selling tonight? The micro hibachis or the Jinsu knives? I'm not selling anything. I just wanted to help. I want you to know that your son called and he asked me for advice on how you might find a new wife. Who is this? Dr. Marsha Fieldstone of Network America and you're on the air. You called a radio station? Sam, Sam, are you with me? Yeah, yeah, yes. Your son feels that since your wife's death, you've been very, very unhappy and he's genuinely worried about you. Get out here, come on. I'm not going through this alone. I think it's very hard for him to talk to you about all this. And I thought maybe you and I could talk. It would make Jonah feel a little better, Sam. Listen to her, Dad, she's a doctor. Sam, Sam, it's his Christmas wish. Okay. Okay, good. Now I know this is difficult, but how long ago did your wife die? About a year and a half ago. Have you had any relationships since? No. No? Why not? Uh, Marcia, or should I call you Dr. Fieldstone? Dr. Marcia. Dr. Marcia, I don't mean to be rude. And I don't want to invade your privacy. Sure you do. Go on, Sam. I'm listening. Sam? It was... We had a rough go of it at first, but we're dealing with it, and Jonah and I are going to be just fine, as soon as I break his radio. <laughs> I have no doubt that you're a wonderful father. You know, you can tell a lot from a person's voice. You certainly can. But something must be missing if Jonah still feels that you're still under a cloud. 
Now, just a few questions. Are you sleeping at night? He doesn't sleep at all. How do you know that? I live here, Dad. Look, it's Christmas. Maggie, my wife, she did it all. I mean, she loved, she made everything beautiful. And it's a tough time of year. Every kid needs a mother. Could it be that you need someone just as much as Jonah does? Don't answer that. Let's get into that right after these messages. Sam, Jonah, don't go away. If you just tuned in, we're talking to Sleepless in Seattle, and we'll be right back after this break with your listeners' response. What is she talking about? This is where other people get to call in and dump on what you said. Oh, this is really fun and helpful. Just gonna keep 